Hello and welcome to the sewing studio. Today I'm going to show you a way of using up all of your scraps to make yourself a journal cover. And I had some scraps left over from the Tula Pink range and I sewed them all together to make this journal cover. So what I need to do is to make a piece of fabric out of my scraps the same size as this. So I've already measured the book. So if you're making a journal cover, what you need is a piece of fabric that's going to wrap around the book and it's also going to give you a little pocket on the inside so that you can pop your book inside there like that. So it needs to tuck in. So I know that this piece of fabric, which I'm going to use for my lining, so I'm just going to measure that again. So this measures 18 and a half by 10 and a half. So I'm now going to use up all of these scraps and I haven't measured this. So I'm going to see what I can get out of these scraps to create another piece of fabric this size so that I can make a journal cover. So the first thing I'm going to do is line up. These were off cuts from our Carolina Lilies quilt that we had and these were what we cut off the end so I'm just going to line these up and see roughly what I've got. I've also got some strips, some blue strips that I can use and I've got a couple of odd jelly roll strips. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give these all a press and then I'm going to trim off these selvage edges here, join these together and see what size fabric I end up with. So you can see on this one, for example, I didn't quite have enough. So I added some more strips to make it the size I wanted. So that's what I'm gonna do first of all. So I'm gonna trim these up. So those will go together. So I'm just going to see roughly what size I've got if I join these back together again. So I need something else along the top. So I think I'm going to work on getting my length of fabric like that first of all. So I'm going to put a couple of these in between. And so I've worked out that I've got this much fabric. So I'm just going to the machine to sew these together. Before I go to the machine, if you like what we do, don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram and TikTok, where we give you hints and tips, best practices, photos of customer makes, you can meet the team and we'll answer any of your questions in the comments below. So I'm just going to give this a press and a trim and see how much it's growing and see how much more fabric I need to add to it. 
So I'm just going to press this. I'm going to trim it up and then have another measure, see where we are. And it doesn't matter if it's not perfect because at the end of the day, we're just using up all our little scraps. We're repurposing them to make another piece of fabric. I'm just going to lay that next to it so I get a rough idea of how much more we need. So probably that one. What else have we got? Oh, didn't realise we'd got that. Let's give that a press. It's like finding treasure. that roughly a minute. Now I'm going to join all of these up. So another little press. So we've got, got it long enough. Now, you don't have to make a journal cover. You could line this and you could fold it up. You could make yourself a nice little clutch bag. If you had smaller pieces, you could make a sunglasses case. So you can see all of these were cut off one quilt as scraps and I've made another piece of fabric with it. So I'm just going to make it wide enough so I'm going to sew one of these down the side and then that should be wide enough for my lining piece just trying to see if I've got anything else so I could if I wanted to I could sew these bits onto here just to make it a bit different so if you look at this one for example I've got lots of smaller pieces so it's up to you. You can be as creative as you want with your scraps. But for today's video, I'm just going to sew this down to on the side. Just check the measurements again. So ten and a half. By eighteen and a half. So you could always use these little bits up as well if you wanted to. So now I'm going to put this right sides together and I'm going to sew all the way around and I'm going to leave a gap for turning. I'm going to trim that off a little bit more. Maybe my measurements weren't quite right.
just going to check that I've caught it in all the way round. So I'm just going to carefully snip off the corners. And then I'm going to turn it through where the gap is. I like the little end of these tweezers. It's perfect for just carefully poking out your corners. Then I'm going to go to the iron and I'm going to give that a good press. And then I'm just going to tuck this piece in here because we're going to top stitch this gap closed. And now I'm going to top stitch all the way around. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold in the end pieces as I do my top stitching. So that's the pocket for the edge of my book. So I'm just going to fold those in. I'm just going to measure on this one what I did. I folded those in by two inches. And then I'm going to sew to there. So I shut, close my gap and I'm also sewing in these end pieces here, which form the pockets for the book cover to go in. And then I'll do a little reverse stitch there to strengthen that. So I'm going to give it a little press and there you have your journal cover. So you can decorate it as I've done on this one. I fussy cut some butterflies and I've stuck them on there. So you could also cut out some shapes or you could do some hearts or flowers or whatever you wanted to do. And it really doesn't matter how these pieces form. So you can choose which way round you have it. I usually tend to have the gap that I've closed at the bottom, but it doesn't matter. It's your journal cover. You have it wherever you want and you decorate it however you want. So that's an ideal way of using up all your little scraps that you've cut off a quilt. I've probably got enough here to have another go at something else. So I don't waste anything. I repurpose all this scrap fabric into a new one and you can make books, bags, glasses, cases, anything you want. So as always, have fun and I look forward to seeing you here in the sewing studio the next time.